Hello, good morning, friends. God, Ooh, he's amazing. Let's praise his name every single day of our lives, guys. Even if we're working 16s out in the heat all day. <laughs> it's, 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 it's getting rough. Hope I'll be able to keep on, keep on. That's what the Lord wants from me. I'm, I'm not here just for me. It's all for Jesus. You know what I mean? He is the way, the truth, and the life. I gotta share that word every day. John 14, 6, the word got me started. Now I'm, I'm I learned a lot, but now I'm going through the whole Bible. I'm trying my best to go through cover to cover. People say, how can you preach to us? You never, you never read the whole Bible. Well, I am now. I've heard a lot. I've scanned through a lot. I've read a lot of books, but not every single bit of it. That's why I'm doing this. But this morning, we're going to be in Leviticus. We started in Titus. If you remember, I've been doing it every day since Titus. been going all the way through Revelation and went through Genesis, Exodus. Now, I'm in Leviticus. 24-15, we're going to go to 24-15, y'all please turn there with me. First poems. First station. Yeah, give me a little good, would you? Good morning there, Mr. Samuel. Cigar. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin. You hear that? Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin. I please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for everything you do, Lord. Help us all to not try to fit in with the world and make it okay for us to say the Lord's name in vain, as I, as I hear at least two to five times a day, every day on this construction job. Please, Lord Jesus, help, help these men, help these women. Not to say your name in vain, or it's just one of the one of the Ten Commandments, right? That I not say, thou shalt not say that that old name in vain. That's right. I'm trying to remember exactly how it went. But Jesus, thank you so much for all you do. Please guide us all, direct us all, help the boys, keep them safe and everything they do. Well, my kids, I sure love them. I sure miss them. But please keep them safe and everything they do. Please be with us all, Lord. Be, be with. Us. Good one, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for all you do. Everything you meant to be will happen, Lord. That everything happens in your plan. But help everybody seek you and seek your strength, seek your face continually. Help me, Jesus, as I preach this morning. Thank you so much. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Mr. Cigar. So why? Why is this world? Why, why don't we sin on purpose? Why don't we sin on purpose? Well, if you're saved and you ain't so sin on purpose, you might you you need to ask for forgiveness right away. You know, I mean, I we're all we're all gonna sin, but but we don't need to be doing it on purpose. <sighs> Nowadays, it seems like in our vocabulary, to some, it is in our it's in the. The Lord's name in vain is in our regular vocabulary on some of these people. They just every other word is because we're if and this, if and that. It's just what, what in the world, man? I mean, can you learn any more vocabulary? It's kind of uneducated, childish, immature. You know what I mean? We need to stop throwing the f bomb every 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 sentence. Some and these men were every sentence almost. They got to say the f bomb or at least every paragraph. It's just it's ridiculous, guys. We need to grow up. Seek the Lord and His strength. Read His Word. Read it. Learn it. Love it. Live it and share it. Because I, that's how I stop. Where I stop. I mind wasn't that bad, but still, I, I, I read the Word. Have you erase all that filth in your mind? Put the Word in. All that filth will come out the other end. Just, just, we don't need that filth. We don't need that garbage in our in our lives, guys. Go to number sixteen. And he that blasphemeth, like he that blasphemeth, the name of, of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall sh certainly stone him, as well the stranger, as he that is born in the land. When he blasphemeth, blasphemeth the name of the Lord, shall be put to death. You hear that? Murder is basically suicide, guys. We now stop murdering people because that is bad. Because we're, we're going to be put to death. Number seventeen. And he that killeth a man shall surely be put to death. He that killeth a man shall surely be put to death. So it's basically suicide. Once we murder somebody, we're going to end up killing ourselves too. 
We, we, we make a hide here, a hide there, and, but the Lord, the Lord knows. And you will be judged. You will be judged. Yes, murderers, they can't be saved and go to heaven, but it's not good to murder. It's not good to murder. It's, that's, 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 it's, you're going you're gonna to die. And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. It says it right there in, in 17. Hello, though, Donna. I think that's Donna. And Alma, good morning to y'all. Alma. The blasphemy is real. God's word is true. That's our topic this morning. I forgot to mention that. So pause one second. God's word is true. Blasphemy is real. We gotta stop cussing. God in that word, Lord's name, in vain every single day of our lives. And that's why I hear every single day of my life here on this job now. But as the world sins continually, are we going to follow the world? Are we going to follow the world? We need to follow Jesus. As he says in John 16, 33, Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He has overcome the world, guys. As he said on the cross, it is finished. He bowed his head and gave up his ghost for us. He died on, He died for our sins. Okay? We don't need to be sinning on purpose, guys. We need to be asking for forgiveness if we accidentally sin. Or if we, even if we do sin on purpose, we need to ask the Lord for forgiveness every time to, to we're sorry to whoever is around us. If we're if we say we're a Christian and we start cussing like them, how how is that gonna look? How how how, how we we're gonna live like the world as we're a Christian? Is any many of y'all doing that? We need to live like Jesus and live be more closer to him every single day of our lives. Because as the world sins intently, are we going to follow? No. Because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Who is eternal life through Jesus Christ? Our Lord, it says like a Romans six twenty three. I hear it every day, all day. Uh, let's change that garbage into blessings, guys. Let's change that garbage into blessings. Let's start reading his word. Getting that in our mind, not having all that filth, all that garbage, all them. If somebody responds, though, they're gonna throw an f bomb. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna say the Lord's name in vain. No, guys, we need to be strong and good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Who is with thee, with us forever? Thou goest. That says the book of Joshua one nine. Be strong and in one courage. Do, do Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy thirty one six. Two. We'll go there real quick. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not. Don't worry about scary and being, 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 oh, we got to fit in with the crowd. No, sit for Jesus, guys. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, as he says. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is it that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Once we invite him into our hearts, guys, and guys, he will never leave us. Nor forsake us. So if we start sinning on purpose, he's gonna be he's gonna chastise us back to to the right way. He is the way, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is, which is who comes. So let's rise up for him every day, my guys, because he rose up for us. Let's rise up for him as let's rise up for him, my friends. Y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all, Jesus, help us all rise up for you. And understand that you're the one that rose up from the, from the dead for us. We, we, you died on that cross for our sins, and now you're alive forevermore in heaven with your Father in heaven. Well, thank you, Jesus. Please help me hear that saying. Help the boys this morning, everything they're doing, Lord. Help the whole boys and girls whole in this high, whole entire world, Lord. Help us train up a child on the way they should go. When they get old, they will not depart from it. Train ye your children of it, and their children, train their children, and their children another generation. We got to keep it going, Lord. We got to keep the, help us all keep the work going in this life. Thank you, Jesus. Be with, me here, be with me here as I sing. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Yeah. Hey, Philippe, good morning to you, brother. We need to rise up from him, my friends. We need to rise up from him. As, as the Father said, down to his son. As the Father said, down to his son. Arise, my love. Arise, my love. The grave no longer has a hold of you. No more destiny, no more suffering. Arise, whoo, arise, whoo, arise, my love. Whoo, it's so awesome right there. Spirit is part of mine. Whosoever shall live a godly life of Christ Jesus shall suffer. 
persecution. We're going to be made fun of. We're going to be picked at. We're going to be talked about, about, about behind the back. We're going to be left out of gatherings because they don't want to hear about the Lord. Well, they need to hear about the Lord. The Lord is the answer. Okay? He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty. Well, God bless y'all this morning. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's early. Bye-bye.